Grace Randolph Beyond the Trailer. Hi. So how does it feel for both of you to make history cool? <laughs> yeah, yeah, finally. <laughs> it's a very good film. The, the, uh, you know, but so what surprised me about it was that the film has a very strong anti-war message. What do you yeah. think that element brings to the Kingsman franchise? Yeah, I think um, it's something that is surprising, I guess, because, you know, there's so much sort of violence and bloodshed in, uh, in the Kingsman films. But I think it's a, uh, I think when, when Matthew Vaughan was, you know, writing this and, um, and there was a lot of stuff going on uh, politically and, and, um, and I think he, he's always felt this sense of, you know, what it is to be British is a kind of conflicted thing because we have colonized basically and and <laughs> in order to in order to uh, become this sort of great empire we had to kind of destroy many others so um I think there's this sense of guilt that he wanted to explore in in being a, a an, an aristocratic British person and and I think um and I think it's interesting and and uh, quite an honest thing and um and yeah, and it and it is it is very strong in the in the film. This the the theme of of war and whether it's right to go into battle and and the dichotomy of you know these people who have to fight um, in order to protect and when that's the right thing to do and um, just kind of grappling with that. Well, also the action scenes in the film are very elaborate. What was it like to film them? Yeah. Harris, I, I, you had way more than me to do there, so come on. I mean, I don't think I did. I think I think it was I think it was pretty equal. But I uh you know, I was I, I think during the filming I was I, I remember just going home and telling everyone how impressed I was by the orchestration of it all. I didn't quite expect to um be as like physically involved. And I think Matthew uh like sort of said to me at the start of the film as a, as a bit of like an ego challenge and was like, you know, Taron did a lot of his own stunts, you know, and I was like, oh, okay, <laughs> well, I guess I'll try. But no, the, the stunt department um, and everyone else involved in that, and I think is just uh, are so, uh, they're so intricate in, in their approach that it's like, it's impressive to, to be a part of and to watch, you know, so it was cool. Well, also, you know, Harris, I saw yeah, you before. Yeah, the stunt department are amazing. Oh, yeah. sorry. Oh, sorry, oh, sorry, I was interrupting. Oh, no, sorry. No, I just was like bigging up the stunt department. Yeah, yeah, well, of course, yes. We're all in favor of the Oscar for stunt work. Yeah, that should be a category. <laughs> but, you know, Harris, also, I saw you in Trust for FX, and I was really blown away by your performance there. But what was really surprising to me was, like, you have such amazing range as an actor, because they're such different characters. Uh, but yet they're... They're a little similar in that they're young men who come from wealthy families that are very influential. So how would you compare and contrast your approach to Conrad here to how you played uh, John Paul Getty III? <laughs> um, I, uh, thank you for the, that's very kind of you. I don't know. Uh, I suppose they're both trying to break free of their own um, circumstances, their own privilege. They're trying to be defined by their own actions rather than their um family or rather than their history i suppose but um you know i think conrad as 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 brave and sort of uh, uh you know as much as he wants to go out and see the world and break free of this my character in trust was way more uh I think a little more free, and I mean, he was a hippie, you know, he was, he was like anti-establishment. So there's a different in that sense, but yeah. Well, also Gemma, because of the time period, it was very interesting to see a world where women were rarely in the room. Mm -hmm. uh, there are That's so right. many, you're the only female character in the film really without spoilers. And, you know, you do, you, you really hold your own, but for large parts of the film, there'll be scenes where it's all men. So what were yeah. you what were you hoping to to convey through Polly to bring through the to the film? 
Yeah, I mean, she is she is an equal, and obviously, and um, she is she is the sort of emotional glue, but also she's the brains behind the operation. Um, she's very very strong. She's um, she's someone that you can you can trust and rely on and count on. Um, but yeah, I wanted to represent all, all you know as much of the the most amazing things about women that <laughs> exist, I mean, in one person. Um, she's funny as well. I think it's so important um, that these, you know, we, we show humor as well in these strong women. And um, she has this, she has this great sense of humor and wit. Um, but yes, you're right. I mean, it was a time, you know, there's a character in this that I'm fascinated by called Mata Hari. And, mm -hmm. you know, it's a, something that I was thinking I should develop a film about her because it's such an interesting character and so she, she's sort of in this a little bit but um the women at that time there were some incredible women at that time who were doing all these amazing things you know espionage and sort of right-hand women um who were kind of undercover because they weren't in the big rooms with all the guys you know at that time mm -hmm. women had only just were in the process of getting the vote so, um, but there was there were a lot of women who were kind of um, doing some incredible things, um, but you know, having to kind of find their way through and um, and uh, but yeah, so it was great that I got to uh, to be the the one woman, but hopefully in 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 further ones there'll be there'll be a few more women. Um, I look forward. Yeah, to I liked that. your look at the end of the film. <laughs> We can't talk about it too oh, much. Oh, yes. Very cool. Yes, the transformation. Yeah, that was great. So without spoilers, uh, what are each of your favorite scenes in the movie? I mean, I just love the Rasputin fight. I, I remember when I saw it, I was, I was like wowed by it. I thought it was so wild and amazing and weird and a strangely sexual as well. Like there's so much in it, but I thought it was amazing. And I think it will be a sort of famous and memorable, uh, loved like fight actually in, in mm -hmm. the grand, in the history of fights in cinema. So I thought that was brilliant. Do you have a favorite scene, Harris? I think I'm gonna. I'm sorry, this might be a cop up, but I'm gonna say the same. It was such a like, it was such a fun scene to film, and also to like, there were so many elements to it, and uh, just like that kind of scene and that setting and the beautiful set and the I don't know. It was just, it was just. Uh, what did you think when you saw it come together, Harris, in the movie? Well, you know the the brilliant stunt department. They brought in these like Georgian dancers to help out with some of that. Um, like specific sort of very like specific kind of dancing and um and Reese did a lot himself but there was just so many um impressive elements to it and and within it like it was broken up within it that there was scenes and moments and then Holly comes in and I don't know it's, when I watched it the other night at the premiere I was just like kind of smiling through it you know it's amazing it's incredible Thank yeah. you both so much for your time uh, and congrats on the film. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you very much.